What's up YouTube? Welcome to another series here. I've got the London system for you guys. This is an opening that's special to me. I think it's a big reason why I became a grandmaster. Uh, I think I'm very good at the opening and I've got some tips and tricks that I'm hoping to teach you guys along the way here as we start at 800 ELO and work our way up. I will only be able to include the games with the white pieces, of course, but I decided to run this uh, series idea anyway, so if you see some jumps in rating, that's probably why. Enjoy the series. That guy that could, appreciate the 16 months. Welcome everyone, hey Duke Nukem. This is definitely a good move against uh, this, it happens to be. Stopping that, but I'll almost always go for an early uh, H3 in these lines. Say I just forgot. It's funny, I even pointed it out. People that go D6 almost always want to get their hands on your bishop, so... You get, you get used to it. You definitely get used to it. I'm just looking for trades now. Maybe take the center. Like, I don't need to do anything fancy. What the hell? Doesn't look right at all. He really was thirsting for e5. Why not knight d2 here? Well, the game doesn't really matter. Um, it's hard to stick to like basic principles when you're up a piece. Knight d2 I would play maybe in a normal London, but... I'm just up a piece, so I'm like kind of just putting my pieces on the most basic squares. The game is already over. This is going to be dirty as well. Uh. 1200 to 1400 category, I swear, is filled with uh, some of the strongest players. A lot of hanging stuff here from uh, my opponent. Not his best game, I imagine. Okay, time for some D4. Some London in our life. Uh, this move, immediate C4. Trying to play E4 as well. I want to take that pawn. And you're not going to stop me, bud. This looks very tough for black already. I have three pieces developed. This dude's name is Roland Nolan. Roland Nolan. That hangs a pawn, but I almost want to take an E6 more. 
because it opens things up. Bishop b5 is definitely a move. Knight b5 looks tempting. We'll do this. The knight f3. Just keep bring all the pieces in. Bishop b4, we're happy to step up with king e2. No way my position isn't good once this happens. I've got all my pieces doing stuff. I am resisting the temptation to calculate some pretty forcing lines. Instead, I'm just improving all the pieces. How can our position not get better? Can we mate here? I sense the there's the potential. He might really start peeking to this. But even if he plays bishop g6, it's really great for us. Because uh knight e5 will hurt more. Yes. This is this is what yes. Yes, we need this move from you. Buddy pal friend guy. The thing is the move doesn't look very good for a number of reasons, so he's probably gonna decide on this, but if we got this, then I think he was just getting mated. He's probably still getting mated here. Just have to work a little harder. Boy do I hate that. Rook d1 to e1. Knight d6 check also possible. But yeah, he's about to just lose stuff funny enough if i go here king d7 and i do some knight discovery then bishop takes rook is playable so i have to be a little careful can't get carried away let me just keep it simple here Yeah, G5 was a great move in that last game. G4 was a great move in this game. Oh, Dabcat, you're getting me hungry. You're getting me hungry, big brah. Yeah, it's... It might be a loss angle for him. It's actually a little counterintuitive, but if he castles this way, he gets checkmated in two moves, surprisingly. Knight takes a7, covered, covered, has to go here. Rook is going to be on d8. Rook takes e7, and that's covered. That's covered by the knight. c is covered by the knight. It's a weird checkmate. So that gets mated in two. This one, I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Rook takes h6. Looks like mate, but there's rook f7. Pretty strong move, though. Unbelievably sexy with a 16 month prime sub. Thanks for the prime. Is this an abandoned angle? Oh, he played what I think is probably the best move. Damn. Well, he played it and then he resigned. Okay. 
true alpha. He's not allowed to castle queenside? What are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? Do you know the rules of chess? Do we have to go over the the rules? That's not a good look for chat. In this position, black cannot castle. Because the rook is here. The squares that your king travels to castle cannot be covered by any pieces. You're not allowed to pass through check with your king. It's not like the king goes all the way here and then jumps back there. No, it only goes to there. So the fact that this square is covered is irrelevant. The only thing that passes over that square is maybe your rook on the way there in your head. But the rook's allowed to pass over that square. The same way the rook can move to that square right now. The king can. So the king can't castle here because of the rook. Once the rook moves, the king can castle again. Also, if this was the position with the rook attacked, you can also castle here. Your rook is attacked. The bishop's covering that square. You can still castle. Yeah, the rook basically teleports. You don't have to factor it in. All you think about is the king traveling two squares in either direction. If those two squares are attacked, then you can't do it. If they're not attacked, then you can do it. The rook, like, there's a reason that castling is a move that you need to make with your king. It's the king's move. The rook is just a participant. Coco bomb. Okay, I think I, we've encountered this before. I say, I always play d5. Just take the space. It doesn't look much like London, but oftentimes we get to play against the Benoni. A very low quality opening that Eddie likes to play. Bishop F4, castle, hitting the spawn. 95, a faux pas. You never want to end up with a pawn on e5. Now I got this great guy here. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to play this before he has time to play b6. Glass is 85, thanks for the seven month resub. This should be good enough here. Um, do that. Takes. Get castled. He's got a lot of weak pawns. Can activate my rook this way, which is nice. I think, I think we go for this. What does Magnus have that other chess players don't have? Hmm. I think he has the most human approach to the game. I 
think being able to play moves as strong as an engine that are backed up by human intuition is uh, probably one of the greatest assets you can have. Here, okay, he's gonna play rook there most likely. Here, queen b6, and it's good but not great. I wanna play queen c7, queen takes, takes, rook there, rook d1, rook takes, and then I need a move. Knight d5. Should be something. Should be something here. I'm gonna bet that there is. Um, that looks like a decent move, doesn't it? How's this? He has rook f8, so no rook c5. But knight d5 should probably happen. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, let's go here. Rook c5, not quite. I want my knight out of the way because I'm trying to use this d-file. Good thoughtful game here. A good thoughtful game. King h7 takes. Rook c6. Sounds like a great Nordic name. Here, you can only move here. So, can we try to trap that knight? I've given up on promoting the pawn. I now want to trap the knight that will make me feel satisfied. will satisfy my soul. Again, no rook there. It's all about this knight. I'm on a mission here.
Things are very tied down for him as well. Forcing me to get a queen. Back to trapping that night. Got him. A good resignation. A good resignation. Yeah, not so fast there, Tommy. Uh, don't worry, I was thinking about it the entire time. Alright, we got the white pieces. Let's throw the old bishop out there. E3, if C5, then C3. Okay, it's a solid looking position so far. Ooh, this is definitely looking like a checkmate angle. Do we bother doing that? No. Well, it's not a blender half full, Nelson. Wouldn't, wouldn't call it a blender. Maybe the, the chess.com calls it a blender because I do lose a bunch of pawns, but um, it's not an actual blender because it doesn't lose my rook or anything. Hello, Adrian Gregory. Odd job, yes, there's going to be more chess hustling videos on our YouTube channel. In the park, outside, different uh, venues, so stay tuned. Lots more coming. Glad you enjoyed the vid. I'm really working the sacrifice here. Like I'm really, really trying hard. I had to sack all my pieces <laughs> just to do it. Literally everything. This is a pretty common attacking motif. Good to know. When you have that queen rook and pawn on g5, it's almost always just force mate. They'll move their f-pawn to try to get an escape square, and you cover it with g6. Every good schoolboy knows. And it's almost always a result of, like, a knight check that gets captured. So that whole sequence is, like, just a pattern, like, rinse and repeat. That's a full-fledged attacking game. Okay. That can happen in the London if, if people sort of play without... Uh, any urgency is black. Okay, I see this move. I play c4. I'm a, I'm a simple guy. Queen b6, c5. We've seen this position before. Yeah. This is a great start for white. Because I'm not going to be prevented from going b5. That's the thing. I can go b5 anyway. Because it's pinned. He goes back. <laughs> that seems rather odd. I'll just go h3, keep my bishop. He's not any closer to taking this pawn. And the knight kind of looks silly. I don't think I'm in some rush to take and win a pawn here. Like, 
No, not at all. If he wants to move his knight, uh, sure, then I can take. No optical monk. I'll be leaving for that tournament probably on Monday. So tournament starts Tuesday next week. Yeah, that's right, Hamadan. Prepping. Prepping. Uh, the boys are going to be relying on uh, this, what the sauna has to offer. Might have to look at opening tree with Salty and uh, play some Amadon's gambits. Not to save that bishop. Probably all the way back. Simple enough. Bishop covering b8, I just have this feeling he's going to put something there by the end of this game. Yeah, the engine really likes the French advance, eh, the uh The space, like the eval is quite generous. Engines like space. Um, it's probably time for this. Check in Knight H4 as well. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to play the French. <laughs> I don't think so. I would start with h4, but I think the knight can also venture around here. It wasn't actually trapped, so that's why I didn't bother. I don't want him playing here and then knight e6, so I'd rather kick the knight to f7, which does not look like a good square. Doing this for sure. Let's attack that pawn. If he plays this, and at least if the pawn's there, it gives me access to a few other squares. I am considering taking this. Before b5, I want to do, but I don't really want to relinquish the a file. And my issue is that I played b4, and then e5 hits my pawn and it, it needs a defender. It's got one right now, but after b4 it doesn't. What I want is I want to play this, and then that. Then it's all good. Let's push. This bishop needs to be on that square. Once I protect this pawn, like this is a very serious plan. It just needs to, it just needs to occur. <laughs> this needs to happen. Yeah, and we have this move to cover the each pawn at all times. But now I'm ready with this stuff. Now it's fallen into place. Like, I like. This looks like the intention. So maybe this makes it harder to achieve. Wins a pawn, could be better. I can also go here and then like King G3 to guard this. Basically say like, you know, you've got nothing bro.
like Bishop E3. We're playing a good game here. Edgar Allan Port. Appreciate your sub there, uh, Mr. Edgar. Okay. But here comes B4. Thank you, JC. People still work when they're sick, you know? But when there's a camera on, it's a little more abrasive. I can also just bring this bishop back to f2. This is the plan, b5. I think he's got to play rook c8 or something. I can also throw in bishop f5 there if I want. I don't understand this move for the life of me. What the heck is this? Hillbilly Crypto, thanks for the seven months with Prime. Prime gang. I gotta say, I have no clue what moves he's coming up with here. I can win a pawn here, but I, I like the bishops. I'm, I'm, I am looking for better here. I actually am. That doesn't look like a good move, but he was, he was struggling to find one. Also a disaster move. King d7. b6 actually kind of gives him some squares, uh, Tommy, so I don't really like the idea of playing b6 myself. Go bishops. Couldn't find anything very nice there. What did I miss? I got to here and I was like really ready for this move, but here? I couldn't find the sexy, the sexy win. And if it's not a sexy win, I don't want it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the cool win is here. Yeah, g6, but king takes h6 is the problem. I don't know. 
Not even doing anything. Yeah, it was a fortress, I guess. G6. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, we got plus two for that draw. Oh, great. Oh. That's fine. This goes for uh, online chess, by the way. If you're over the board, uh, you should uh, you should definitely know when to resign, because getting done dirty, like the way some people get done dirty for not resigning over the board, I think once you're over like a certain elo, 1800 or something, nope, you have no business playing on. You will get embarrassed so badly. How much easier is it to reach 2,000 rapid online than 2,000 feet day? Uh, most people who reach 2,000 rapid online will never in their life be as strong as 2,000 feet day. Probably a very high percentage. Maybe 95? Probably higher. 98%? Two thousand rapid, especially if it's on Lee Chess, is uh, definitely not going to get you far. Unemployed nuke, thanks for the eighteen months, buddy. Unemployed. I don't like that this move trades queens. It's not a good move. It loses a pawn, but eh. New badge, that's right, unemployed. It is a new badge. Who are we if we don't play Queen Takes H6? Who are we? Probably a smart person. That's correct, Tommy. Queen takes h6, don't work. Just knight g5, which is quite annoying. This one is nice, though. We have a nice little, uh, basically, staircase we can walk to checkmate our opponent here. Frenzy, thanks for seven months with Twitch Prime. And yeah, if they take this way, then I was going to take here. Jason Pierre Sweeney, 54 months. <laughs> yeah, name a more iconic duo. Drawing in the London system. Take this way. I think I was six years old when I played my first tournament. Could he have played queen f6? He would have got mated in one move, so. Was it legal? Yes. Was it good? No.
probably this. I want to get my rook over. And it looks like with this protected pass pawn and this great chain, we should be, uh, we should be fine here. It doesn't make me too happy to trade for that uh, bishop, but trades are trades when you're up three pawns. All trades are good trades. Trades, please. Attacking pawn here. More trades, more good. Yeah, Jobava London is decently popular at the moment, I would say. Well, I hope that rook doesn't show up on g4. That would indeed be checkmate. But these pawns should be pretty unstoppable here. What do you mean, profit? Rook ends up on d4? Oh, you're mishearing me. Yeah, I'm just saying, if that rook ends up on g4, game over. And I, I think he's kind of aware of this, but it doesn't work if the pawn's not defended. Still the right idea. GG to Sudu Chess. Yeah, he needed the king on e6 to try it. Let's get a good London win before we end. Okay, this looks like the guy who knows what he's doing. Yeah, very sweaty. Whoa! Ho, ho. Let's see if he really knows what he's doing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, he really doesn't. 
Holy cow, that's an awful move. <laughs> Good lord. Interesting. Night A5. Take or here? I'll go here. You'll just have to wait and see there, Big Drew. Where's my avocado thing? Well, it's just been like summertime and it's a little, uh, it's a little heavy. That's all. I don't really wear it unless it gets a little more chilly. I'm trying to get an open file here. I just sense that I'm way ahead in development um, compared to him, so I'm trying to get an open, open C file or something to use. This will have to do the B file. I just need something. I know Kilimanjaro, Rogers is just down in Canada. But who the hell uses Rogers anyway? I was having this conversation with a few friends, like, Rogers is just poverty to me. I've never ever wanted to be on Rogers. All Canadian uh, internet providers are, first of all, anything private, yeah, it's nasty monop nasty monopolies in Canada. Nasty monopoly in Canada, so that's another story, but just generally speaking, like, man, I've never ever wanted to be on Rogers. I've never walked in a Rogers store. I'm proud of that. Many have been by the line. Thank you, Mattis. I knew I could get some Burton support. Trying to get in there, and if knight there, I'll play bishop c7. We will get in. We will get in. What's wrong with Rogers? Rogers is like a. Let's check. Um, they do like a, a TV, home, internet all that telecommunications provider in Canada, but there's not that many in Canada. There's like big, big monopolies, which means the prices are terrible. The service is terrible. Same thing with uh, airlines. So he's gonna have to play this just by force. And we are gonna beat someone from the UK with the London to get to 1600. Yay. Position's looking great. We'll just trap the bishop. Now it can't go anywhere. I know there are other ways to push the pawns, which look a little nicer, but... Trapping the bishop feels good. Plus. GG to Plus. Probably, uh, yeah, push these pawns. Bring the king. Delight. 
That is a very generous dono. Holy cow. Stark to I. Thank you for the $50. Just came in as we hit $1,600. $50 dono from Stark. Why, thank you. Let's get a KO. We got a KO. We hit $1,600. Let's go. Thank you for making it to the end of today's episode of the London System Series. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below and like the video. And don't forget to subscribe right there and turn post notifications on so you never miss the next video. Speaking of next video, if you want more of the London System Series, click right there.